guys welcome back to a new video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a gif inside of a frame so i have made a video about this in my channel like a year ago but i wasn't really clear on how to do it on a frame and this is an updated version so uh yeah this is more clear and uh yeah this will be easier so let me just show you how to do this so for this first we need a gif which i'm going to be using is this right here i just found it on google this is how it works so we put it on roblox and uh, before we put it on roblox we should uh, go to this website which i'll leave the link in the description and you should convert it to a sprite sheet which is like this so i'll be showing you how so we have the uh, gif i right click and save image and you can save it anywhere you want so i'm just gonna save it in my desktop just call it anything you want i'm just gonna name it gif123 and then go to this website and click on choose file and uh, load the gif you just saved so once you load it uh, this is what you get so once you get this you just click on it and it will download that sprite sheet or you can right click and save image but you can just click on it why would you do that anyways once you have that sprite sheet downloaded you go into roblox so now we're in studio um so before we begin we're gonna uh, make a screen gui on the start of gui and then inside that we're gonna put a frame this frame can be any size you want it to be i'm just gonna keep it around this size um and then we make sure to name this whopper Make sure to name this wall because that's then only the script will work if you do that. Um, and inside of this, you're gonna put an image label, right? And this image label size is gonna be one zero one zero. So if you do this, it will scale up to this frame. And now, if you change the size of this frame, it will scale with it. So that's that's one thing. Well, if you have knowledge of this, you can do it alone, but make sure the image label is named animated. Okay, and now once this is done, I will leave a link in the description for a paste bin link. And this will have a script. Uh, this script is made by uh, Hungry. Yeah, that's his username, I guess. And um, yeah, credits to him. Anyways, uh, you just have to copy this script and come back to studio under the screen GUI you're gonna put a local script and uh, delete this print and uh, yeah paste it once it's pasted there is certain stuff you have to do first um, you need to go to roblox.com slash tilwap and go to decals in decals you have to choose file and choose the sprite sheet you just downloaded once it's successfully created and uploaded uh, you click on it and um, yeah, and then you get the ID and copy it and um, go back to studio and under image label, the image label you just made, you're going to go down to the properties tab and uh, go to image and paste it and click enter, tap enter, yeah. And as you can see, the sprite sheet is loaded into the image label. There are other certain stuff you have to do to get this working. So, for example, you should go back to the script you made and uh, you have to change all of this. So, first, it's going to be the Wobble frame rate. You can choose any frame rate you want. We'll go with like a 45. And the last frame is going to be the frame which we, you wanted to start with. So, it's going to be the first frame. And frames is going to be how much frames your uh, sprite sheet got. Uh, you can do it this way where you say 5 by 5 but I cannot do that because um, under this on the one left so what I'm going to be doing is actually counting each of this so it's easier so to do that is by um, just counting so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 I have 91 frames so what I'm going to do is put 91 frames here and then the rows uh, and then the rows which you can easily find out by just checking how many rows you got which I have 11 here so I'm gonna put 11 right 
and the columns is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 columns, right? And then um, that's pretty much it. Now, if you play the game, I'm pretty sure it will be loaded and it will work fine. Oh yes, I'm wrong. Wait, one more thing you should do before testing it out, and that is going to your frame, which is called the warper, and going down and finding something called clip descendants, and checking on it. Then the uh, image label will be clipped inside of it. So yeah, as you can see, it's working. You can try to mess with the FPS too. Uh, let's go with 60. Just just see how it is. That's how sick it is. Okay, as you can see here, I've used this two times with different uh, screen GYs. But you can uh, use one script for all of them if you know scripting and you have knowledge of them. So yeah, this is how you make it work. And um, I hope this helped you. If you want to know more, just comment down below and I'll try to help you. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more like this. And uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video.